A new star season up for 3.23 EPTU pass is just dropped, still for wave two, and we're getting straight into the patch notes. For features and updates under the location category, they made further distribution center, lighting, LOD performance, audio polish pass. They also did water polish. It says got rid of seams in watercress foam and fixed inconsistent normals across water sim. Under the gameplay category, they did a physical ship shopping UI polish pass while interacting with ships. Under the weapons and items, they did ship weapon tuning for three items. It says increased RPM and spread on anti-fighter cannons. They also retuned distortion scatter guns and they also increased distortion bullet velocity to 1300 meters per second. Also, they did reduce size one quantum drive spool up time by one second. On the Cortex, they made server performance optimizations for AI spawning and they updated the control images. There's quite a few bug fixes for this one. They fixed various issues causing interaction delays in the PU. We will be monitoring and assessing further interaction delays with this release. They also fixed an issue where under any upscaling option, ship HUD clarity is significantly affected when QT HUD is displayed. They also fixed an issue while they also fixed an issue while Vulcan is enabled, client is in windowed mode. Alt tabbing out will display a black screen in front of everything else. I did notice this myself. Nice fix. They also fix an issue where tuning volumetric clouds off makes clouds appear black. They also fix another issue pertaining to copian teleporting around during jump melee attacks on remote clients. They also fix an issue where you're unable to store items in loot crates or storage boxes while using the loot screen. They also fixed another one where when looting UI can fail to target a valid slot causing move attempts to fail. They fixed another issue where AI at Coverless Distribution Center cannot be killed. They fixed another issue where the Drake Buccaneer exit animation can trap the player inside a cockpit. They fixed another issue where there are areas in the technical deck with gaps in the room volume causing player suffocation. So this is for the Anvil Carrick. They also fixed another issue where grab left vehicles are targeted and fired at by a bunker turrets regardless of emission compared to wheeled vehicles. Oh, that's nice. So we can use grab legs now. Nice, nice, nice. They also fixed an issue where opening the character inventory while quick buying an item from a shelf display will cause a quick buy to stop working. They fixed an issue where unable to use plotted route to planet side location while in a planet orbit. Another word, the drop shadow for the info panel will disappear the first time you open the star map and zoom into a planet. They also fixed another one where sometimes an MP position targeted is not available. They fixed another issue where route path finding not finding path between zones. Another one where map selection list is not shown for reading commander. And another one where the spawn point for hover vehicles is up in the causing them to fall down and below. And this is for free flight in Arena Commander in the Bloodshot map and Winner's Circle. Along with this is three client crashes, four server crashes, two Vulcan client crashes, NVIDIA DLSS specific Vulcan crash fix, and a server memory leak fix. You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video.